I want to talk a little about health metrics and interpreting them because they might be better than you think. So I've been a little frustrated. November was the first month I actually gained weight since January. Well, since December, I guess. Um, I made good progress in losing weight and suddenly I'm gaining. And it's continued into December. So this morning I stepped on the scale and it was 215.1. And I log my weight every day in a notebook on top of um, what my phone is recording. And I remember I wrote 215.1. Motherfucker. But then I started looking into the composition. Now, the HealthMate app that I used to talk to my scale had just updated that day and had better body composition information. And what I saw was that in December, and it's December 7th, so after one week, I have gained 3.2 pounds of muscle and I've lost 1.3 pounds of fat. So yes, I've gained weight, but what I've gained is muscle and it's because of my shift from relying on walking and hiking for my exercise to going to the gym and starting to put in some serious strength training and it's paying off. It's so my metrics are good. Even though my weight went up, that's an excellent metric. And I looked at my body composition since August, when I got the current scale and started using health mate, I'd lost 4.3 pounds of muscle and 6.4 pounds of fat in that time total. So obviously I was losing a lot of muscle along with fat, which is, I mean, it happens, but it's not ideal. But now I'm losing fat, but I'm gaining muscle. And that, that is, that is really where you want to be. So it tells me I'm on the right path. Even if that gross metric on the what's on the scale is not what I would like to be seeing. And it will pay off in the longer run because lean mass loses weight easier than fatty mass, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, this gets to another habit I have that I really recommend to everybody, which is log your metrics. I mean, yeah, you're your phone is full of data. If you use a scale, if you're using a smartwatch, you've got all sorts of marvelous health data appearing. But every morning I sit down and I log. I, until very recently, I did it on with a pen and paper. Right now I'm using Obsidian, which I use for a second brain, which I'll go into at some other point. But, you know, I write down how did I sleep? When did I fall asleep according to my watch? When did I wake up according to my watch? How long was I asleep? Which, sure, my phone's recording for me. But also, well, how did I sleep and what was impacting it? Like, you know, I was up too late last night because I was over to a friend's place. And it messes with my wind down if I'm socializing. So um, having notes like that to review... Go back through them every once in a while and see, well, what's working and what isn't. Um, I track my weight every single day. Some people disagree with this approach. And yeah, if it doesn't work for you, don't do it. But for me, writing down my weight every single day makes me weigh myself every single day, which is how I keep track of my weight. Otherwise, I'd have been backsliding a long time ago. Um, I was writing down my VO2 levels off of my Apple phone until recently when I'm not walking outside enough to get consistent levels anymore. But now I'm starting to track my um, body composition. So that's something. At any rate, metrics are good. Metrics help you know if you're on the right track. But even if your metrics look like you're on the wrong track, look again. Look deeper. You might find the news is better than you think.